The build modifier is mostly useful for effects and time lapses. You will most likely not have any need for this when doing general 3D modeling. The build modifier is connected with the timeline down here. So we will need to press the space bar for it to do anything. So just to show an example, if I create a plane and then I just extrude off the top here a few times like that, I can then apply a build modifier to this. You'll see initially it disappears. However, if I now click the space bar, you will see it's just doing a time lapse of what I just created. Now the start frame here basically tells Blender at which frame on the timeline it should start the time lapse. So if I chose 10 for example and then click spacebar, it's going to kick start the build process a bit later. I think it has an initial delay so it obviously didn't start at 10 frames but started at around 30. The length controls the speed. So if I change this to 30, I'll just switch start frame back to 1. It will now run faster and should be completed around 30 frames on the timeline. There you go. The reversed option here just reverses the order in which it does the time lapse. So here you can see it's working backwards. And then randomize just randomizes how it does the time lapse. So you can see it's just picking different faces to build. That's really all there is to it. You can do some cool things with a build modifier, but you probably won't ever use it in general 3D modeling for game development architecture, etc. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.